Okay, what's up? Uh, as I promised you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do us a quick review of one of the watches that I pretty much wear almost every day. Of course, you just saw a piece of my collection right there as well. Um, but it is this watch right here. It is the Ingersoll Bison number 33. There it is. Nice box it comes in. And this is the watch that I pretty much wear every day. Um, I've owned it now for, what, since summertime? So it's been about, um, maybe about five months now. So I've had it for a little while. This thing open. Of course, there's the watch right there. It's an automatic movement. Yep, I'm still a novice at this video thing. I'm doing this off my phone, but hey, start somewhere, right? So, when you get it, it comes like that in the mail. I got it from my website, callwatchismo.com. A uh, great, of course, the warranty card is inside of here. And I'm going to be just giving a couple of points off of the manual here as we go through it. But um, it's a pretty big watch, um, oversized uh, watch. So, um, it's about 55 millimeters uh, from here to here, basically. And about, I think, 13 or 14 millimeters or so thick, something like that. But, uh, nice watch. You can see I've definitely worn it. Um, because my wrist is so small, I had to actually add another hole right here. But, um, when I have it on, you really can't tell. And, of course, there's the Ingersoll rotor for the automatic movement there in the back. You can see it moving around. Just want to let the image stabilization on the Note 4 here get this picture, but there we go. You can see the rotor moving. <clears throat> it's an automatic movement because as long as my body moves, it winds. has a 30-hour standby. Um, has the date, day, year, and month. Uh, on here as well as of course the 12 24 hour indicator as well um, of course a little guard here which moves up so you can manipulate the, the watch but uh, leather strap um, and I'm pretty pretty happy with it um, but um, it has one of Ingersoll's uh, caliber 5201 uh, so not bad, it's not Swiss, but it works. Ingersoll uh, was originally an American company. Now I think the British actually own it, but it, the watches themselves are actually designed, I think, and made in Germany. Not bad at all, but it has a 10 ATM uh, rating, so basically you can go uh, 300 feet or above with it. Um, it can uh, withstand splashing, swimming, pools, and so forth. Uh, so you take it snorkeling if you want to, uh, but it's not good enough to actually do any real uh, diving with it in case you're wondering about uh, wondering about that. And then it has a 30 hour standby, so if you stop wearing the watch, put it back in the box and it sits, you have 30 hours before you'll need to pop this open again, rewind it, and get your watch going again. Usually about 8 to 10 turns of the winder will get it going again, and of course, of course the movement of your wrist will cause the watch to work so and like I said most of the time I wear this um, if I'm not wearing one of the dinner watches that I have including a couple of Russian divers uh, that I have so but um yep um, and it has of course the hours minutes seconds day of the week uh, month 24-hour dial of course so um, I'm very pleased with the watch I paid uh, about 260 total with it got it from watchismo.com um, they actually delivered the watch to me uh, a day early actually so i was very pleased about that but uh, being that my profession is in the, in the private transportation business uh, even though i got here a day early it didn't matter because i was still on the road but um it's nice to see that they are really quick about getting it to you um because i had it shipped uh, to an address that was different, uh, that didn't quite match my, my card when I did it. Uh, they were very quick uh, to get back to me and I had a couple of questions too, very, very quick. Uh, within about a half hour, uh, 
when I had another question via email, someone actually called me, um, and uh, I was very pleased with that. So, but uh, yep, Ingersoll Bison number thirty-three. This is the blue uh, version of it. Um, it does have luminescence. Let me take out my five eleven tactical light real quick and put some light on it real quick for a second. Let it loom, and then I'm going to shut off this light beside me. And it should be enough so you guys can see it hopefully loom a little bit. Let me turn this light off. I need other lights too real quick in the room. Give me a second. The loom is not that great, um, but most of the time if I'm using this watch, I don't know how well you see it. You can kind of see it. There you go. Yeah, the loom's not that great. But um, And when I had, had, had the light on it much longer, uh, the loom... <coughs> lasted about a half hour uh, before it got to the point where I couldn't see it. But to be honest with you, um, most of the time I am going to use my phone um, if I'm in somewhere just dark and I need to see. Uh, but for daily wear, uh, it holds up pretty good. Again, my professions, uh, I, I'm in the public transport, well, sorry, private transportation business uh, mainly and um, uh, for moving customers' baggage, helping them with things, uh, you know, uh, it does get banged up a little bit, but this watch, uh, compared to a couple of others I'll review later, um, has held up very well. Uh, and I do recommend uh, getting this watch. It does come in a green dial uh, also. I think I've also seen it in an orange dial. This is the Ingersoll Bison number 33. Uh, I got it from watchismo.com. And on a scale of one, a scale of one to five, uh, five being the best, um, I will give it for my experience now. I will give it um, a 4.5. I give it a 4.5 only because the loom uh, isn't very good. Um, and I wish the loom was blue. That's why I got the watch. Uh, part of why I got it because I like I like blue. So um, that's it. That's my that's my uh, somewhat ghetto review of the Ingersoll uh, 33. Um, I'll do some more watch reviews later on. For example, I'll do some more stuff on this Invicta timepiece I have right here. Um, or maybe I'll do a, a review on an Android I have, or maybe I'll do a review on, um, on one of my Russian divers. Um, so, but thanks for listening, and uh, deuces.